hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesperson so today i'm going to show you granting user access to run flows so how to give the permission to the specific user or set of user in uh, flows so we have some permissions so we will look into that so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel salesperson so let's get started without any further delay and here you can see the title granting user access to run flows so first of all I just already created one flows here so now you can see this is a screen flow under this screen flow let me show you the first of all what is the output of this flow so just you have to click on this run or debug based on your need so just click on this run button and after that you can see the screen of this component now you can it's asking this screen like account name and website and once you click on the next button so it's having like another screen and that screen having like toggle button and that toggle button asking like do you want to send the mail to the user or not so based on your need so you can turn off or turn on okay so let me show you first of all this one let's say demo account first of all and website let's say https https colon slash slash then www dot uh, demo dot com something like that so based on your need so you can give your website name right so just you have to click on this next and after that you can see a new screen having all the details I just already enter in previous screen now account demo account and uh, with uh, website is here you can see the website right this one and up, uh, you can see the successfully message message and if you click on the next button so it's uh, not showing like as a uh, like uh, uh, you cannot send the mail because of uh, some uh, configuration I already did here like send email notification no so I just already mentioned under my flow like as a no yes based on the criteria I will send the mail so if you want to send the mail so here you can see like yes so it's asking like new field that is called email and once you enter the email let's say demo at the rate yopmail.com something like that and click on the next button and now after that it's uh, it already sent an email in your particular mail id so let me open that mail here so now you can see the yopmail and just enter that is called demo and once you enter the demo now you can see your account has been created your details is demo account and website you can see the demo.com right and finally here in, uh, this is the mail uh, email alert so you know very well these all things now we have another things here right so just uh, here so how to give this uh, user permission to particular uh, that is called user or maybe like uh, using uh, profile or permission set so how to do that so now uh, right now I'm a system administrator so how to check it so now just click in this profile icon and here you can see the my name right so just you have to go first of all uh, that uh, profile or user based on your need let's see user and click on this users and here once I just go into the user that particular user now you can see my name here and this name here you can see Rohit Kumar and having the system administrator privilege so this is the super uh, user we can say that so this is a system administrator so system administrator can have all the things as you know very well I want to give this permissions uh, to the another user so let's say uh, first of all uh, I already created one user that is called David uh, Dotson here so I just already configure all the settings if you don't know about this login button how to enable that so just you can uh, uh, find under the quick find that is called login access policies and you can enter that enable checkbox right and here David Dotson once you logged in in this user uh, this user cannot have this uh, flow access that is called this one right so how to give this access so first of all I already created some permission set or you can create the uh, profile label as well because uh, permission set is the advanced extension of the profile that's why I'm using permission set for this user let's say uh, I'm just open the permission set of this user so just uh, here you have to search under the quick find that is called permission set here and here just click on this permission sets and I already created custom permission so now you can see the custom user permission so just click on this permission 
and let me edit this permission first of all because I already give some extra functionality of this flow axis so just click on this flow axis and now you have to edit this one because I already given so before that I will show you here so just edit this one first of all and uh, let me remove that axis first of all because I already given that axis so let me remove here so now go back here and once you go here now click on the system permissions and here under the system permission you have to edit this permission first of all because uh, right now my flow is running under the system permissions so you have to search like run flows so now you can see that I already enabled this checkbox so first of all uh, disable in your case you, uh, you cannot see this checkbox as a checked here right that's why so first of all let me uncheck this one and once you save it and I have custom user permissions here right just click on the save button and let me log in that user first of all so here you can see that this user having standard uh, user profile and also having the permission set so how to check that so just uh, uh, in this permissions permission set just click on this permission set and also just uh, this uh, permission set just click on this permission set or yeah and just click on this one and click on this manage assignment and you can check uh, which user is associate with this permission set now you can see this permission set having this user right so let me log in this user first of all so this user right now doesn't have any kind of access to uh, access that particular flows so you cannot see under here because in my flow or let me show you first of all let me log out here in this user and once you logged out now let me open any kind of application in Salesforce and with the home page because I already set up uh, that uh, flows under my home page so how to show that so here just click on this gear icon and click on any application as you have let's say sales application is a standard application and under this application under the, this home tab now you can see my flow that is called new account screen flow just I already created here you can see like new account screen flow and also you can see the uh, this uh, screen flow here right because right now I'm a system administrator so I have all the axes that's why you can see this flow here but I want to give this axis to that user just I already created this one so how to give this permission so let me log in first of all this user you cannot see right now any kind of flow in this home screen so here just focus on that you cannot see any kind of the flows here right so first of all let me log log out here and once you log out just added the permission set of this user so just let me edit this permission set here or just go back here first of all or yeah so just click on this permission set or here and I already created permission set so let me do that one thing for you let's say, uh, say like a, um, give a permission for that user so how to give that let me show you here so just click on this custom permission here and here you can see the system permission just click on the system permission and uh, after that you, you have to edit this one so once you edit this one you have to enable that checkbox right now that is called run flow so just let me check this checkbox and let me save this so there is uh, so many ways to give the flow axis uh, in the uh, like flow level as well profile level or as well permission set there are so many ways so I will show you th these all uh, ways so this is a permission set profile level if you want to give this uh, level as a profile level let me show you that one also so first of all let me log in that user uh, it can be access that uh, flows or not so let me log in first of all so once you logged in now you will be see the uh, flow here now you can see the flow here right here you can see that flow so here you can see any user can be access this uh, flow once you have this permission set so how to give this uh, like uh, this is the permission set related things now how to access the profile level this run flows setting so just click on this profile or just click on this standard user profile because it's having this standard user profile and just click on this edit button and uh, here just you have to search that is called run flows now you can see the checkboxes 
right so this is the standard profile that's why you cannot edit this checkbox if you want to edit this checkbox so first of all you have to clone this profile and you can create your custom profile and then you can assign this profile in this user and after that you you have to enable this checkbox so this is the profile level now how to give the axis in the flow level so how to give this one so first of all you have to go back here or just let me do that one thing for you let's say here or just go back here in the home screen just go back leave it as it is here and now here just uh, here now you have to uh, check your uh, like flows now uh, you can see my flow that is called new account screen flow right so just click in this drop down and now you can see the added axis so once you click on this added axis so this is the flow level axis so you can give this axis now we can give this axis using uh, profile here you can see the profile or as well permission set so this is the option here so we can give these all pro uh, permissions or per, uh, profile level axis to the flows or if you need some flows as a profile level or permission level so you can give like this so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you like uh, this is new for us so you can subscribe my youtube channel and please stay tuned and keep it in touch bye bye take care see ya